In the Arcadia BIM system, the project manager is the managing element of a project. It is a window that can be enabled and disabled on the system ribbon. The project manager is empty at the beginning of a project. Its tree is created automatically as we add consecutive elements of a drawing. For example, when we insert a wall. It will be added to the project tree alongside the building and an automatically created level. It works in a similar way for other objects. For example, when we insert a window, it too will create an additional group on a given level. From the project manager, we can select objects by clicking a given group of objects. Now, using the right mouse button, we choose Select Objects. Thus, all the objects from this group will be selected. If we have several objects, we can create subgroups. For example, to distinguish partition walls from outside walls. Now, we can click the name and using the right mouse button, we can add a group. For example, External. Next, we can add objects to this group. We select an object and, using the right mouse button on the group name, we choose Add Selected Object to the group. This way, a project can be divided in terms of the functionality of given objects. The project manager consists of tabs. On the first one, all the files CAD layers that have been downloaded with the background, for example, are displayed. The View 1 tab is the most important project view. All the objects are inserted here. There is also the 3D View tab. There can be additional tabs depending on what we are drawing. In the case of architecture, there can be selections for water supply, heating or gas installations where there can be axonometry or unfolding and profiles for sewage installations. We are switching to another more advanced design. Here we can see various levels and an additional view, namely a section. Only one view can be active in a project the one in accordance with the tab selected in the Project Manager window. If we want to change the view, we need to click a proper tab or to find the view anchor in the drawing and double-click it. For the 3D view, it is enough to double-click it in order to activate it. A building is always divided into levels. Apart from the building, we also have the outer terrain. If we insert installations in a project, they will create additional branches in the project tree on the levels where they have been inserted. We can switch from one level to another with a double click on the level's name or with a single click on the icon before a level's name. When we have a few views, such as view 1, section AA and 3D view, the trees in the project manager are separate and independent from one another. So everything is now displayed in the 3D view. In the projection, the roofs and level 0 are switched off, so the only level we can see now is level minus 1.
If I switch off anything in the 3D view, it will have no influence on sections. For example, we are switching off the roof now, and it is not shown in any section. They are separate views and we need to remember about it. Additionally, the Project Manager window enables us to insert additional views, for example, a projection, in order to arrange the levels next to each other to prepare them to print out. Each time a full view of the building is inserted alongside all objects that have been inserted in the project. Now, in the left view, we can only see level minus 1 displayed. In the new view, we are going to show level 0 and switch off the remaining levels. To begin with, we are switching on this level. We are switching off the whole building and we are switching on the one level we need to draw on. Names of views can be changed. We can use the names of the levels that are active in a particular view. If we insert more views and draw on them separately, the program may slow down because a wall will have to be drawn in each view in turn, which means that it will be drawn longer. We can switch refresh to manual. As a result, a view will be redrawn only after switching to its tab. To convert to drawing options lets us, the user, change the view into lines. This option can be used to touch up the project, for example, to remove some imperfections from a facade, which would damage the building model if done in an ordinary view.